Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with a trip to the car boot sale today. I also have a haul for you. I've got quite a few bits from the car boot sale and also from a little tabletop sale that I stumbled across. So as you can see, I'm back home. I had a lovely little break in Monaco. Thank you so much for all the lovely comments on that vlog. I really did have the best time. It was so nice just to get away and relax for a couple of nights. And I'm really glad that those of you who tuned into that vlog seem to enjoy it, seem to enjoy a little look around Monaco with me and also just see the blue skies. Although saying that, we do have blue skies here in London today. I've heard that the weather is going to be changing here in the UK. Have you heard this as well? I think there's some parts of the UK that may be expecting even snow this weekend. So I hope you're keeping warm wherever you are. I've got myself a nice coffee on the go. I've got it in this Harrods Food Halls mug that I picked up from the charity shop in Southwold. And I've got a nice latte in here. So we'll have a quick sip. Pumpkin and Mittens are over there on the table, wondering what I'm up to, but both of them are currently in boxes. Mittens is in a cardboard box, a brown cardboard box, and Pumpkin has made himself very comfortable in a shoe box, which literally he's just like slotted himself into and his chin's poking out the top. So they look very cute over there. They might pop over and say hello as we go through all the bits, but yeah, quick sip of the coffee. Then we'll go for a little browse around the boot sale. You can scan the stalls with me, see what you can spy. I was trying not to spend too much last week, but you know, things fell into my bag <laughs> as they do at the boot sale. We've got quite the random selection here. So yeah, eyes peeled for any bargains and I'll meet you back here and show you everything that I picked up. So did you spot anything on the stalls? Did anything catch your eye? Would anything have come home with you from the boot sale? Let me know in the comments. It was such a good atmosphere at the boot sale. It was a really lovely day. I actually bumped into one of you as well. A chap said hello to me and he told me that he was on a holiday in London. I think he said he was from Malta and his wife watches my videos. So a big hello to you if that's you and you are watching. And thank you so much for saying hello to me. I hope you enjoyed your time at the boot sale. Yeah, he said that he'd seen my videos at the boot sale and wanted to come down 
and see what it was all about and get some bargains. So yeah, it's lovely whenever I bump into one of you, especially down at the boot sale, so I can see what you've bought as well. So let's jump in to the bits that I picked up. We do have a few nice bits. It's quite a random range, I feel like. Um, let's start off with a Fortnum Mason item. I couldn't resist this. It is this beautiful pot. It's a Stilton pot, and they sell these with Stilton in them. And they also um, have a smaller one. I had one of these in the past, I think, like a smaller one, but I just love the design of them. And I think they, ma they make such nice little um, storage containers. So it says Stilton, Spice Importers, Tea Dealers and Grocers. And it's got quite, kind of like the quite old um, fashioned design on there. I feel like this is one of their older logos. And yeah, I hope it doesn't smell of Stilton anymore. <laughs> I think this has been washed. The lid is taped onto it and it's in good nick. And this was three pounds. I think, yeah, there was two of them. I think one of them said a fiver and then she was like, no, three pounds is fine. Um, Cause I guess it is essentially like a container that had food in it. I guess some people, would people put this like in the recycling? I don't know. I mean, you can't really recycle this, can you? But I'm thinking like, you know, really posh people, do they just buy their Stilton in this and then think that this is just like a throwaway container? I don't know, but obviously I think it's stunning and it's <laughs> made of porcelain. So yeah, I really like that. And I thought it would go really nicely on the shelves in the kitchen, won't it? So a nice little storage caddy for the shelves. I also picked up this beautiful mug. I thought this was absolutely stunning with the roses on it and it has the dragonflies as well. And as you can see, this is an Emma Bridgewater mug. And I think that this design here tells you um, the date, doesn't it? It tells you what date um, the mug was made. So do let me know um, in the comments if you know um, what year that would have been. But yeah, I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. So I couldn't resist this. And it was only three pounds and that's without haggling. They wanted three pounds for this. So yeah, had to grab that. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I do like my... Emma Bridgewater mugs and also from the same seller this is a little bit random but I also picked up this book and this is a Le Cabousier book um, this is a book all about um, Le Cabousier architecture basically and I've been to one of the villas in here so basically um, this chap has designed all these amazing buildings and one of them I went to in the south of France and the designs are kind of really clever they're kind of um, all involving like how do I describe it like really clever use of small spaces basically and I like the fact that you've also got the floor plans I find floor plans really interesting to look at I love seeing how like different properties are laid out and how rooms are laid out so you can see the floor plans in here as well and it takes you through all the different dates. And yeah, I just thought this would be a really interesting read, but of course I can't find the one <laughs> that I have actually been to. It was kind of like a little cabin, basically, just along the coast from Monaco. And here's a nice example of one as well. Look how cool they are. So yeah, I'll do some more reading because um, yeah, I need to learn more. Let me just see if I can quickly find it. There we go. I think it's that one in Rock Brune Cap Martin. There we go. And it's like a little cabin, but it was a really simple design and um, really quite small. And you see like this piece of furniture here, like he designed all these really clever things um, that just fit the space really well and can kind of be multifunctional, which I am here for. So <laughs> I will do some more reading, but I thought this might be good for a bit of inspo. And that was also, um, three pounds as well. And then I picked up this, which is a light bulb for my filming lamps. So when I saw this, I just recognized it instantly. Now, the only problem with the boot sale is you do kind of just have to trust that things work, but I just thought it looked like new. It just looked like one of those things that maybe someone had bought and hasn't used. I haven't tested it yet, but these are quite expensive and they go in my softbox lamps. I have two of them. I'm using a ring light at the moment just for a bit of extra light. But yeah, up in the loft, I do have my soft box lamps. And I think actually it was really early on when I started my channel. I think I might have done like a little review on them. 
and I've still got the same ones. So yeah, I don't know if um, if you search at Mr. Carrington new lamps or new lights, it might <laughs> it might come up. Um, yeah, I just got them on Amazon and they were um, pretty reasonable and they have lasted. The only thing is one of them's like the pole, the twisty bit's gone a little bit. So sometimes I'll be filming and it'll just decide to like slide down by itself, which is really helpful. But yeah, this was, I think she said five pounds and I was like, mm, I just thought it might not work. <laughs> so I was kind of wandering away and she was like, do you want to make me an offer? So I said three and got it for three quid because essentially it is a secondhand light bulb and we don't know if it's working. So I think that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, I hope it is working. It should be, shouldn't it? I mean, it's all boxed and stuff. And then it's making me wonder what happened to the lamp. You know, when you think, what is the story behind this thing? Why is it not with its lamp? What happened? Maybe the lamp went elsewhere and then there was just a spare bulb left behind. On to <laughs> this I was looking at and admiring. And when you're at the boot sale browsing, I usually just like look at things and I'll usually just ask the price of something if I'm interested. And it's very rare. Sometimes people will shout like everything over there, one pound, everything over there, 50p. Or sometimes, you know, it's priced already. But if it's just out randomly, sometimes you'll find a box where all things are kind of 50p. So I was just looking at this and the seller just said to me, oh, 20p for those if you want them. And so <laughs> I wouldn't have bought this, to be honest with you, because I don't really have kind of like ornaments like this. I don't know, I just probably wouldn't have picked this up and bought it home. But when she said, when it's in my hand and she said 20p, if you want this, I mean, it had to come home with me, didn't it? Because it just reminds me of pumpkin and mittens so much. Who would you say is who? So I will tell you who I think is who, but if you wanna have a little guess first, but I would say that this is pumpkin for sure, just because of the big eyes. And um, yeah, he looks slightly bigger <laughs> and that's like mittens cuddling into him. That's kind of how they do actually, let me just do a little comparison for you. Um, they're kind of like the opposite way around on this photograph. Can I show you without the reflection? Yeah, there we go. So pumpkin on here is on um, this side, but you see what I mean by the big eyes? And then she, <laughs> oh no, they are the same way around. I'm getting confused because I'm looking, yeah, back to front, but they are the same um, way around. So yeah, pumpkin and mittens are the same in the photograph and in the ornament. So maybe this ornament should go back here. What do we think? <laughs> I'm not one for ornaments, but it could probably go in the garden, couldn't it? Should we have little baby pumpkin and mittens out like in one of the flower pots? I feel like maybe out there, they can go out there with the random assortment of gnomes. I don't know if Hermione and Catherine are still out there. And if you've been here a while, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you're new, you'll think, what on earth is he talking about? You may well know Hermione and Catherine here on YouTube, but you may not know Hermione and Catherine on my roof garden. They are garden gnomes. <laughs> but some time ago, I spray painted a metallic kind of metal color. So let me know, have you been around since Hermione and Catherine on the roof garden? I've got a feeling that they might have gone. So maybe we do need to have some more ornaments <laughs> out in the garden. Can that be my excuse for buying things like this at the boot sale? Do you end up with one of those gardens? There's one that I see, I used to always see it in the taxi home from Pack Lunch, and it's one of those gardens that is just full of garden ornaments. Have you got one near to you? Where there's that person that buys every single gnome in B&M and Home Bargains and they literally <laughs> take up the whole front garden. Maybe that could be me with the roof garden, but they all would have to be cat ornaments. <laughs> a lot of you spotted the cat um, sculptures, the kind of like, um, they're almost ornaments, aren't they? In the cabinet, in the Hermitage Hotel. It did look really cool and obviously they caught my eye, which is why they ended up in the vlog. So yeah, well spotted if you noticed those as well. And then I went to, where am I gonna go next? Let's do, actually, let's do another artwork while we're on the subject of art. I'll just turn it up the right way around and try to show you without the lamp reflecting in it. So this um, was five pounds and I asked the seller if he knew much about it and he didn't. He said it might have been his mother's. Um, it's a watercolor painting. And as you can see, we've got a little boat here, a little hut 
Maybe one of you recognises where this is. Do you know where that might be? I've got a feeling it's UK somewhere, so you might recognise it. And it's in a beautiful mount as well. And it's framed, as you can see. And I'm all about kind of swapping things out in my home. So when I saw this, I thought, I don't know if I really have a place for it, but I do have two small prints in the loft. And I felt like this might just be like a nice little upgrade for one of them. A bit more of a cheerful, more colourful image, I thought. So I think I might swap this out for one of the two painting, like they're kind of like little sketches um, that I've got in the loft on the green wall. And I think it might look quite nice up there. Or maybe I'll find another place for it. But yeah, for five pounds, I thought that was really nice. And yeah, I do think that this is an original painting as opposed to a print, so a real bargain. And yeah, it's just nicely framed as well. So yeah, let me know if you know where that might be. It kind of, I think it's quite modern. I'm saying that because I think they've got, <laughs> they've got a Velux window going on up there or a solar panel. <laughs> so maybe it's relatively new, I don't know. So there we go. And then last two things from the boot sale, I picked up this Gardener's Crossword book. I can't remember what I paid for this which isn't like me. I think this was a pound, but I can't remember. And I thought this would be quite a nice gift for somebody that I know who loves gardening, but also loves doing a crossword. So it's like perfect. And yeah, it just has the nice elastic on, it's brand new. And oh, it's from Marks and Spencer originally, I've just seen down there. I feel like maybe soon we'll do a trip to Marks and Spencer's. So we haven't done it in a while and yeah, I know you all love a bit of M&S. I feel like at this time of year, they might have some quite nice spring fashion in, spring, summer. And also like, I know they've introduced quite a lot of food items, haven't they? I feel like I've missed the boat for Easter for you, but we'll go in and see what else is in store. Maybe I'll try and time it so I can get some half price Easter eggs. <laughs> I don't buy any Easter eggs until after Easter. That's a fun fact for you. I like to get mine on Bank Holiday Monday when they're half price. <laughs> I'm sure you're not surprised to hear me say that. So yeah, this is um, brand new and I think that will make a lovely gift. As you can see, they've all got different um, themes as well. So like veggie varieties, what else have we got? Pot, pot pure, pot pure, pot potpourri. <laughs> and then we have um, stand and wait. So you kind of learn something, I think, as you do these as well. Cross patch, there we go. And then onto the last thing from the boot sale, and I've got two things from a tabletop sale to show you as well. So, oh, that came from the tabletop sale. That is why I couldn't remember the price of it. Rewind, uh, 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 uh. pop that back there. <laughs> okay, I know why I couldn't remember the price of it now, and I've just remembered it was in a bundle. So we'll include it when I explain the tabletop sale stuff. So on to last thing at the boot sale, and it is this pot, this beautiful blue glazed iron pot. Is it iron? Cast iron, yeah. And really heavy. There was a stall that was selling everything for one pound. And this was kind of near to the chap, so I wasn't sure whether this was like his money box. You know, like sometimes people have a container that they keep their money in. Often I'll see something quite nice and I'll say, how much for the such and such? I'm talking like little box. And they go, oh no, I just got my money in it. And that's happened to me quite a few times at the boot sale. Let me know if that's happened to you. And also sometimes when I see a really nice basket and you know, it's got, it's just full of like something like socks or whatever that they're selling. And I'll be like, how much for the basket? And they're like, oh no, that's not for sale. And I'm like, Damn, because <laughs> I really like the look of the basket or the container. So I thought this might be one of those situations as it was kind of near to him and um, the money dealings. But um, I just said, is this um, for sale? And he was like, yeah, one pound. I thought, brilliant. That looks great for a quid. Now, the only thing is, I say the only thing, but I don't think this is actually an issue. That's the inside of the lid. It is discolored in here, but I guess that's what happens with these pots. I reckon I can bring that up back to normal. I think I'll probably put it um, with some like bicarb or maybe some white vinegar or maybe try both and see what happens. But I don't think it's the end of the world. I think that probably just happens with the enamel. So let me know if you have one of these. Do you have experience of that? And yeah, what do you think? 
Can I get that up? The other thing I might try on here is Barkeeper's Friend, which I've had a lot of questions about recently. I've had questions about how to get the scratch marks off plates and Barkeeper's Friend is the one. So I might try that on here and see how that goes. So yeah, a little experiment. But even if I just use it kind of for display, I just thought that was so nice for one pound. I couldn't really leave that behind. But yeah, really nice casserole, casserole dish. I can't speak today. You might have noticed. <laughs> I feel like I've been on holiday and I'm out of practice, even though I did vlog while I was there. Sometimes it's just a day where it's gonna to be tongue twisters and you just have to accept it, don't you? So on to the tabletop sale. So on the way home, I spotted a poster that said jumble sale. And I thought that sounds fun. That sounds old school. That sounds like I might get some bargains. So off I went and it was just kind of closing up. So they were like, we just want to get rid of it all, get rid of it all. How much have you got? Anything, just donations. I went in my pocket for my change. I had two pounds left on me. And there was a few bits that I liked the look of. And I was like, oh, how much for these? And she was like, just make a little donation. And I was like, can I give you two pounds? She was like, yeah, absolutely. So let me show you what I got for my two pounds. First of all, we have this rather nice. It's kind of like a box. Oh, hello, Mittens. Have you come to see too? Okay, she might want to come and um, say hello in a moment. Pumpkin's fast asleep now. So yeah, we have this metal, metal. <laughs> Hang on a second. Let me just sort myself out. That's better. Did any of you notice in my Monaco vlog as well, nice piece of cappuccino on the top of my nose? About three clips, that was attractive. <laughs> Let me know if you spotted that or if you wondered what it was across the top of my nose. Yes, that was chocolate from my cappuccino. <laughs> so, um, as I was saying, not metal, glass um, fronted, are they called a shadow box? So basically it's a box, as you can see, we have, oh, it's upside down. We have two kind of, um, you know, the catches, so you can pop the nails in the wall really easily and then hang this onto the wall. And then into here, we have got some depth. Now I had to glue with some wood glue, this corner, there's a tiny gap there because it wouldn't quite go together. But I have glued that because um, that had come apart and the glass was kind of slipping a little bit. So it did need a little repair job. But if I open it up, it's magnetic as well. So it's got a magnet there. Ooh, there's someone at the door. Two seconds. Sorry about that. That was the postman. I will show you these bits actually. I've got a few bits that next have very kindly sent over. So we'll go through those in a moment. So yes, as I was saying, we have this, oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> How is it one flight of stairs? I think I need to start running a little bit more. So yes, um, as I was saying, we have the drop frame, which I glued and then it's magnetic. So I can open it up and then I thought into here, I can maybe put some like, little things that I have. Here he is saying that he doesn't have things like ornaments. I do have a few little tiny things from travels that I've picked up over the years. And yeah, I was always thinking, where shall I display those? And I was thinking about maybe getting a frame like this that I could maybe put on the wall and maybe just pin them. The backing on this, I mean, I probably won't <laughs> put them in there, but the backing on this is kind of like a really nice natural looking fabric as well. So I really like the paint and I really like the fabric on there so yeah or you can just pin some nice pictures onto there so yeah I thought that was rather fab and I'll definitely use that and hang it up I think that looks lovely and also it will create a little bit of a shelf on the top won't it so you could always pop a few little things on the top there too and then on to the last two things so yeah for the two pounds I did get that in my little bundle the crossword book and then I also saw this candle. Again, maybe something I probably wouldn't have picked up, but then, well, when you see what is on the candle, you will see why I had to pick it up. And there we are. So you can see we do have <laughs> pumpkin and mittens in a little meadow playing together with some flowers by the looks of things. So, and also it's an Easter candle. I mean, it's Easter egg shaped, so it is perfect. 
yeah, love that. Unfortunately, it's a tiny little bit scratched, but you know, I'm not complaining for my two pound bundle. I thought that was brilliant. So they can go there together and I shall light that. So maybe I'll have that on my table for Easter. So is that everything? That is everything that I got from the boot sale and the tabletop jumble sale. So let me know in the comments which item was your favourite. And Mittens is now, I think she's gone upstairs because they're not a fan of the doorbell. Pumpkin's still chilling in his shoebox, to be fair. So let me show you the bits that I picked up, that I picked up. <laughs> I've just picked up from the postman downstairs that Next have very kindly sent over to me. So Next stock all kinds of brands. I don't know if you've been on their website recently, but Next isn't just Next anymore. Next has loads and loads of different brands. It kind of reminds me of like a modern day catalogue. You know, back in the day when you used to have a catalogue and flick through it and it would have all the different brands in it. Well, it's kind of like that now and they've got Barber as one of their brands and Barber have released a really lovely new collection and the lovely team at Next who are always really lovely to work with reached out to me and said would I like any pieces from the collection to style over on Instagram and I said yes please because they look incredible so I thought I'll show you on here and I'll link them all in case there's anything that catches your eye. I kind of went for some kind of classic pieces. Do try to keep my wardrobe um, all mix and match, as you know. So the first thing I got was these shoes. Now these are kind of like a boat shoe, I guess you'd call it. They're in really lovely suede. And you can see they've got the um, barber lining in there. But I just thought these would be quite nice for summer. They look really comfortable and yeah, I just really like this style of kind of like this moccasin -y boat style shoe. Oh, that smell. You know that smell of like brand new leather shoe? That smells so nice. <laughs> They'll be comfortable. It looks like it's quite soft here at the back. You know, sometimes that bit can be really hard on a boat shoe or a deck shoe. Can't remember what you call these. They're like a cross up, cross between the two, aren't they? But yeah, I thought they'd be really nice for summertime and nice and simple, nice and classic go with everything. I will use some suede protector spray on those because it is classic. Whenever you wear suede out, you know what happens. The dark clouds come across, don't they? And then there's a shower. This is exciting. I feel like it's Christmas. Okay, so in here, get this bag open, we have this top. Now I thought this was quite a nice, simple, classic piece as well. It's just a button down top and it's got a really small little barber logo on there. And it looks like it's fairly kind of breathable. You see that fabric? I don't know if you can see, but you can almost see through it. Can you see that? So it's kind of like nice and lightweight. I think this will be perfect for travels and perfect as we go into the summertime. And I really liked, let me just show you here, this detail. You've got kind of like the um, barber check just underneath the button down collar there. So you just get that nice little glimpse of that. Kind of reminds me of Burberry. See, that looks really premium as well. And yeah, really nice. And loving the um, navy blue at the moment, as you can see. And then to complete this outfit, these are the trousers that I went for. They describe these as a suit trouser, um, but I would sort of, I'd say they're quite casual. So they are a suit trouser, but I bought these to wear with like a more casual outfit. And this is them. And the cut on these, I thought looked really nice on the model. It's kind of like a straight, a straight leg, but it's kind of tapered slightly, I think. Yeah, I'll try these on and I'll take some snaps or do a reel over on Instagram. And you can see how they look, but this would look really nice with what I'm wearing now, actually, wouldn't it? Yeah, I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of these. I'll just show you the, the front of the pleats. Very nice and with this button detail. I think they look really, really nice. And then finally, and I'm so excited about this, I've always wanted one of these. We have this beautiful wax jacket and I've gone for the classic green, as you can see. It's got the four pockets on the front that are buttoned down with poppers. These wax jackets, they always feel like cool to the touch, don't they? It's kind of like that kind of fabric. But let's see what the inside is like. This is gonna be so lovely as an addition 
to my wardrobe. I feel like it's one of those pieces that you buy once and have forever. I think you can even get the wax um, redone on these, can't you? Because they're such nice quality. So you've got the um, double zip on here. Just undo that. It's got a really chunky zip, actually. And, oh yeah, really nice padded lining. It's really lovely. Very happy with that. What do we think? Oh, it feels really nice. I think having that padded lining makes such a difference. I wasn't sure whether it would feel a bit kind of, because they kind of feel cold to the touch. I wasn't sure whether the inside would feel kind of like that when you put it on, but it doesn't. It feels kind of nice and cozy with that padding. This is where I can't do the zip up, obviously, because, um, because I'm on camera. And if there's one thing about filming a video or whether I'm doing live TV, <laughs> You know that if there's a zip to contend with, it's going to cause you a bit of bother. There we go. So, yeah. Oh, I love that. How nice is that? Very pleased with that. And I feel like, as I say, this is something that will be in my wardrobe for a lifetime. They're a proper investment piece, aren't they, these jackets? I really like the collar as well. So, yes. Thank you, Next, and thank you, Barber. I absolutely love all of these pieces and I'll try them on and as I say take some snaps over on my Instagram so if you want to see and I can't get the zip <laughs> off if you want to see how I put outfits together a lot of them are from the boot sale and from the charity shops I snap those over on Instagram which is Mr Carrington and I also have my home account which is Mr Carrington home where I kind of show interior inspiration behind the scenes of what I'm doing around the house so I think we will leave it there for today. I think that is everything I've got to show you in today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll link all of those pieces in the description box if you want to shop any of those bits from Barber through Next. And yeah, do let me know in the comments which item from the boot sale or the tabletop sale was your favourite. I hope you're having a fab week, whatever it is that you're up to this week. I hope you're staying warm. If the snow hits where you are, stay warm and cosy. I'll be back with you on Sunday morning, 8 a.m. with a brand new video. That one, I think, is going to be another renovation update. A few more bits are happening around the home that I have to share with you, so do stay tuned for those. But yeah, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.